Hey guys, Andrew from Contagiously Unintelligent. I'm here with the elusive Winter Twins. I've had the honor of working with, with both of these girls on a project with Tim Chismar up in, uh, I believe it was North Hollywood. North, about Hollywood. North Hollywood, yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Fantastic. So last year you uh, released what was the Winter Wyvern. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me again, how many books now is it? So we're releasing one new book in the Twin Soul series each month. And the first book was Winter Wyvern. And now we have nine out. Nine books. And that will make your entire collection how many? Hmm. Uh, so we want to do it for at least another year or so. So I think we should get up to at least 20 books. At minimum. At minimum. At minimum, 20 to 25 books out, I think, in it's that series. Um, and then we'll probably continue building that as well, but maybe slow it down to once every few months instead of once every month. And we're doing that series with uh, Todd McCaffrey, who's known for his work in the Dragon Riders of Kern series. I had the uh, pleasure of reading The Winter Wyvern, and then I also uh, have a copy of Brianna's uh, poetry. And uh, there's definitely, uh, I guess you could say it's the feels. Oh. Is that the term nowadays? I think so. Yeah. Definitely the feels. I don't know. You're hipping with it. Is it it's, the feels? It's my favorite book. Oh. I mean, it's not just because Brianna wrote it, but I, I just love her poetry because it's raw and also makes, sometimes you got to read a couple poems a few times before you understand what it's it's really talking about, like the root of it. But she's about to come out with her second one. Yeah, I'm going to release the Insomnia Formula, my second poetry book, in the next six weeks. The definition of the Insomnia Formula is a perfect series of events in your life to make it impossible for you to sleep. Oh, so basically anybody that's uh, waiting for Comic-Con to come around. Last night I couldn't sleep. Therefore you experienced the Insomnia Formula. Voila! <laughs> Alright, um, outside the books, you guys also have a map. These nine books evolve around a whole world that you guys have created, correct? Yes, yes. it's a fantasy steampunk universe, and when we created it, we, uh, the three of us, you know, Todd, Britt, and I, we sat down and really talked about it, and we wanted to do something completely unique with dragons, which is actually very, very difficult to do, because dragons are so popular in myth and in contemporary writing and fiction. So after talking for a very long time, we came up with an idea that for dragons or wyverns, which is a different type of dragon, beings of great power in this fictional universe. Instead of just having one soul, they're too powerful. They have to have two souls to continue their immortality. So a human side and then the creature side. And so when the human size side dies, they have to find a new host or twin. And that's why it's called the Twin Soul Series. Because you have these beings that are half human, half creature, sharing a body that can go from either the dragon to the human side and back again. Oh, we just got the in-depth feel of the series. Uh, hopefully it's like attracting you guys' attention. If you're coming down to Comic-Con here in San Diego, this is booth... Um, 1601. 1601. So you got to come down, visit the Winter Twins, and... Definitely get yourself a couple copies of these uh, awesome books. Do you have any other projects coming up? We're going to be releasing some new novelettes in the Strand series, which was a series that really put Britt and I on the map. So that was a series that we came out with when we were 12 that we won the awards on, and it went national. So if it weren't for Strand, we would not be here today. So we're returning to our favorite, well, our first book, and there's your first book always has a special place in your heart the one that got us well known and we're returning to writing about some of these characters that we haven't written about in so long it feels like we're writing about old friends you know it, you feel like we're revisiting the past while writing about it and it's been just a joy so far so the third book should be out next year in it well I want to thank you guys uh, again for letting us come in visit uh, 1601 San Diego Comic Con you guys have a good night